It's Bailey and Betsy back at it for the next installment of The Dollar Bells. Glad you're here. And as always, we're here to bring you financial tips for real life situations. Well today, it's about as real life as it gets. Student loans. Whether you've been out of college for a couple of years or a couple of decades, there's a decent chance you're still dealing with student loans. According to the Department of Education, the average length of time it takes to pay off student debt is about 20 years even though most recent graduates think it will only take them about six. We want you to be closer to six. Let's be real here, we want to be closer to six. So today, we've compiled some of our favorite tips on how to nip those loans in the bud once and for all. Whether you've just discovered the joys of paying them, or if you've been working on them for a while. Tip number one is probably the most doable for very recent grads. Live at home for a couple of years, if your parents will allow it. We get it. No 22-year-old is super psyched to move back into mom and dad's house. Mom and dad might not be either, but the payoff is worth it. Make a deal with your parents to live with them for free for two years. But promise that you'll pay your rent money to your student loan debt instead. Let's say you would have spent $800 per month on rent. In two years, that's almost $20,000. According to Debt.org, the average student debt is about $37,000. So paying $20,000 of that in just two years is huge. Huge! If you manage to live with your parents for three years, you could pay off a big chunk. Just have to make sure you're diligent about those payments. Yep, that's key. Hey, your parents might give you some side eye when you tell them that you're moving back home, but show them your plan, show them the numbers, and then commit to doing it. Write a little contract and sign it if you want. Whatever helps. Tip number two is to pay that debt down fast with a side hustle. Then dedicate 100% of that money to your student loans. You could drive for Uber, Lyft, Postmates, or Grubhub a couple of times a week. Or monetize your skills. Edit videos, take family photos, build websites, tutor, babysit, dog sit, whatever you're good at, do it on the side here and there and use it to pay down your loans. Tip number three applies to established households with a car payment or two. Consider downsizing to one vehicle to eliminate a payment. This could be challenging, especially if you have kids that need to be shuttled around to activities. But if you can swing it for a couple of years, the savings can be significant. Take advantage of public transportation, carpool when you can, and opt for rideshare services on occasion. If you can turn a $400 monthly car payment into a student loan payment, you'll make a nice dent in your loans in no time. Okay, tip four is a little extreme, but if you're just out of college and you're totally flexible in where you can live for a couple of years, move. There are several places that will help pay for your loans just for relocating there. For example, Niagara Falls. To help with revitalization efforts, recent graduates with a two or four year degree who move to a specific area of downtown Niagara Falls can apply for up to $3,500 a year towards student loan repayment. The Sunflower State is also looking for new residents. The Kansas Department of Commerce has a program called Rural Opportunity Zones that will help students pay their loans if they relocate to one of the 77 designated counties. It's a little more complicated than that, of course. It requires employment at businesses and entities that sponsor the program, including hospitals and state jobs. But definitely worth considering if you're open-minded and up for adventure. Tip five is more of a slow burn. Check out online reward sites and apps that provide cash back for doing things like taking surveys, watching videos, and online shopping. Popular sites include Rakuten and Swagbucks. There are also apps that reward you for scanning in receipts from the grocery store. You'll get cash back for buying specific brands or products. It might add up slowly, but it's fairly pain-free, and every little bit counts. Some of these tips might mean buckling down or doing something outside of your comfort zone for a year or two. But trust us, it will be so incredibly worth it to have those loans paid off or paid down while you're still in your 20s. Or your 30s. Whatever. Just get those things paid off. It will change your financial future. She's not kidding. As always, thank you for joining us for another episode of Dollar Bells. We're off to check out apartments in Niagara Falls. Okay, bye!